Hello, we are in Singapore. This is our first international trip and my first travel vlog in so long. We are here for four days and we are here for one reason only, to eat. We feel warm, I'm about to break a sweat. I haven't felt warm in like three months. We're in Chinatown now and there's like so much Dongbei food and Chan Tai, my favorite. It's like so cheap and so delicious, so simple. Also found Churion. We are at our destination and we are going to Lao Pa Sat food hall. It's open 24 hours. The Chinatown one wasn't open that long, so get ready guys. Singapore. This morning I'm on my own because Justin's off to do a bit of work. So why don't you and me go for some breakfast? So we're staying at the Park Royal in Pickering. There's a few in Singapore, but this one is just beautiful. So you know me, I love my greenery and this whole hotel just honestly looks like a rainforest and every level you've just got like plants coming down in front of all your windows. Just a little mini hotel tour so you've already seen the beautiful windowscape there. My outfit for today, we're going for watermelon sugar. This is the bathroom. It actually closes off so if you don't want someone watching you shower or poop, you can just slide both sides of the doors in. And then we've got like this little getting ready study area. So we can't figure out how to turn this like desk lamp off. I really hope this is not a fire hazard, but it was so bright last night. So we just wrapped a towel around it, but not a single button turns it off. And there's no like extra button either. So we're just stuck with it on. So I'm famished. I'm thinking like fishbowl noodle soup. Mm-hmm. And apparently there's a food hawker center right opposite our hotel called Hong Lim Center. It was closed last night, so I'm keen to go check it out. Oh yeah, buddy, got my fishbowl soup. We added in some cold vegetable stuff, a little bit of chili, and of course got my coffee, this milky coffee. I'll probably poop myself, but it will be worth it. Okay, so I just had breakfast. I'm sitting in this impasse area. A few lovely uncles around, just chilling, taking in the views of people walking by. I had a small fishbowl soup and there was like five to six fishbowls in there. It was still really big, I'm really full. I haven't had a stomach gurgle from my coffee yet, which is good news. I had to buy a packet of tissues for 40 cents because I don't know about you, but I get super snotty when I'm eating like soupy foods and when it's hot, so I know I'll be blowing my nose a lot. So I'm on the hunt to buy more masks, more tissues, maybe some mouthwash. So I'm full, I'm caffeinated, I'm ready for the day. These are my uncle friends, just taking in the day. Oh, kicking back. This is my first time being back in Asia since leaving Shanghai in like pre-COVID, so about 2019. Just makes me so happy, like the humidity, people speaking, their native tongue, all the food, like just even the smell and the air and like the way the toilets are designed. It's just like, like unique Asian culture. If you've been to an Asian like fancy department store, they all have that similar perfume smell. And even just walking to a department store, I'm like, this smells like IAPM Mall in Shanghai. I swear they all have the same scent. And oh yeah, good on Watson's. All right, 
Here's a little Watson's haul that nobody asked for. Also a tip, I was like, I need to find a pharmacy so bad just to get masks and tissues and things and could not find one anywhere. Just go into an underground train station, a subway station, and there's like always a Watson's or some sort of pharmacy. I got some COVID tests, five pack, just for $15. I'm pretty sure ours is like 50 for five tests. We got a lot of little small tissues just to put in the bag because as I said earlier, the hot weather gets me snotty and just for when we go to like hawker centers and stuff. Masks. And as I was checking out, I saw they had these little Ribena jelly drinks, two for $2.90. So obviously I bought two. I don't even like Ribena, but you know, I feel like a Ribena jelly drink might be quite refreshing. Like We're just walking around the Bay Area right now on our way to dinner at Monty tonight. It is Italian food, but we will make up for it with lots of yummy, yummy Asian food after. <laughs> Another one over there that everyone's lining up for with the exact same sign, but this one's empty. But I'm pretty sure it's the same place, but we'll taste test and see. So we got one dry one, and then we got one soup one. What is it meant to be like sour and spicy, like a bit vinegary? Yeah. This one is. Yeah. Yummy. The review, it was okay. I like the dry one better because it's more vinegary and had more flavor. The soup was a little bland, but also I don't even know if we went to the right place. I'm quite curious, I would have gone and tried the other one, but the line was just way too long, so we'll never know if we had the right one or not. Anyway, now we are off to Little India. We're gonna go look around Haji Lane, Haji Lane, um, and just look at all the colorful buildings and maybe find some more food there. All right, we're gonna walk there. It's about two kilometers. Would easily do this in Melbourne. Humidity's not that bad. Everyone's like, how would you survive Singapore humidity? We've been cold in winter for three months, so I would welcome a drop of sweat. I'm starting to puff a little, so we'll see if we survive. Alright, we made it. Take back what I said before, I'm very hot. As soon as I said it wasn't that hot, the sun came out. So we're in Haji Lane now, and it's quite popular. It's just got little shops um, and kind of like colorful buildings. So we're just having a little stroll. Lunch. Oh, even got my name on it. Let's get ready for the view. Wow. We've trekked 1.5 kilometers in this absolute heat. We made it to Tanjung Beach finally. I'm about to pass out. It is pretty damn hot in Sentosa. I feel like it's hotter than in Singapore Island. Tell me if a ball's about to hit me on the head. Stop, there's a bird outside our window. <gasps> um, is this hotel not just stunning? We've got like the city behind us and then look up up Bob me. Wow. Don't hate me. I got a little bit of um 
Mickey D's just for a snack before dinner. They have roasted sesame and seaweed shaker fries. I love shaker fries. Of course, when in Asia, you gotta get the corn cup. And oh my god, it even comes with whipped butter. So I can have buttery corn. And I just got some chicky nuggies so I can get the curry sauce. Delicious. The sesame, the seaweed on the plate. Oh! Whoopsies. I don't know what it is about Asia. And cups of corn is just delicious. Oh. Mmm! Alrighty, we're dipping it in. Mmm. Y'all. Me! Okay. Okay, apparently we can just tap through with a card. So I'm gonna try. Oh, that's so good! <gasps> when you can't even like do that in Melbourne, but I can tap with my debit card in Singapore. So we're stranded right now. We're at Four Par Village, I think. We took the circle line, which is technically not a circle, it's a U, it doesn't connect. I don't know why I thought we were one station away from Marina Bay, but no, we were at Harbour Front, so we were 60 minutes away from Marina Bay when we realized it was too late so we got off here and we were like we'll just call a taxi and there is no taxis so now we're gonna go back on the metro and take it elsewhere so we can connect again it's like 9 p.m already we had fun though right explain what we've done we thought the dotted line would take us that way <laughs> to marina bay but you have to go all the way around which takes one hour yeah, but you know what's funny is that that last stop is here and we started off here so we've just somehow gone here and now we're stuck. <laughs> it is a little past 10 p.m. We've literally spent the last two and a half hours just going in and out of the metro. Got lost. <laughs> we were like, oh, we'll go to Marina Bay and take a boat. Didn't realize the boats leave from Clark Key, which is where we got on from. And then we were like, we'll go to No Signboard Seafood, which is what I booked for tonight. But we couldn't get. And they're all closed. So then we were like, okay, we'll just go to a hawker center. So now we're going to Newton. Just a quick three hour delay and detour around the entire Singapore region. <laughs> Good morning, we've just checked out of our hotel at Park Royal Pickering. I highly recommend it, it's so pretty. The infinity pool is really nice and it has a very like resort style feel to it. We've just had double breakfast, we had toast box, and then I got another Kaya toast at Hong Lim um, Food Market, which is literally like right next to the hotel, so it's really convenient. We are checking into Marina Bay Sands today, very exciting. And this is what our hotel looks like. How pretty is it? I think. That right there was our room. <laughs> Are you ready to take the MTR to the wrong direction again? <laughs> Alright, we are at Fort Canning Park. It is a historical landmark and I think in the 14th century they even had the King's Palaces here and it served as headquarters for army barracks. It's a very beautiful, huge park. There's also a really nice tree tunnel that you've probably seen a lot of pictures of that we're going to go look at and we also want to go see the kind of historical building on the palace. But oh my gosh, it is a bit of a hike. We just went up and down one flight of stairs. I'm about to pass out. It's really easy to get to though. You can just take the MRT to either Fort Cadding Station or Dobie Gort. 
I'll talk to you guys later. I can't breathe. The Forbidden Spring. So this should be a bathing place used by the king's wives and consorts. So it was very, very private. I wouldn't mind taking a dip in the Forbidden Spring right now. I'm guessing it's this one. Wow. Oh, so you can actually go into the waiting pool. Go on, dip your feet in. <laughs> oh my god, there's an escalator. Woohoo! This is luxury. We finally found the tunnel. We've been walking back and forth on the same road like four times. The signs were a little confusing is all I can say. And we bumped into some other girls who were also very confused. The best way is just to come out of Adobe Gort Station. Don't do what we did. Um, it's quite busy here as well. Oh, it doesn't go down that deep. Oh, there's the tunnel that they were talking about. And then, ta -da. This is the line to take pictures. <laughs> to Marina Bay Sands for our final night here and we got the garden view. We are on level 32, so we are very high up. Are you ready? Complimentary mini bar. Really? <laughs> Time to drink all the coke. <gasps> How pretty is this? Wow, look at that. We like the bougainvillea, however you pronounce them. We got the flower dome there and then gardens by the bay. And apparently there's a light show at 7.45, so you guys will be tuning in for that. This one has already raided the mini bar. There we go, we made it to the famous NBS Infinity Pool. All right, so you've been at Marina Bay Sands for one hour. Yeah, Is it worth the money? <laughs> Do you want to move to Singapore now? Probably not worth the money, but... <laughs> and of course, there's a drink that comes in a pineapple. So I got the drink that comes in a pineapple. Love me a pina colada. Look, hotel room might be expensive, but I got a free Kit Kat ice cream, so I think it might look stout. <laughs> Just going for a little window shop around Marina Bay Sands shoppies. Looking for hay tea because I love hay tea. The last time I had it was in China. It just tastes different. It's the strawberry fruit tea. There's one in here, so got the strawberry cheese tea. There's a Garden Rhapsody light show happening at Gardens by the Bay right now. Wow. The music is very epic. Oh, come on, light up. <laughs> absolute arm and a leg but the mini bar is free so you best believe I'm gonna be drinking every last coke and sprite and orange and apple juice I was like oh I wonder if there's snacks because if there's snacks they're free as well and We need a little snack, so we got two slices of the pork mince. We'll do a little taste test for you. That tastes smoky. It's like a grilled bacon slice, but minced bacon smushed together and then grilled. That was $8.80 for two slices, like two squares. <laughs> It is our last lunch here in Singapore and I booked Candlenut, which is the world's first one Michelin star Peranakan cuisine. 
so we've had the June tasting menu, so we get a bite of everything. The menu, like the tasting menu looks super long, but apparently it's just a bite of everything, so hopefully we can finish it all. We're on Dempsey Road and it feels like we're just on like a different area, like a separate resort or like another island. And there's just one big building for all the Como Dempsey restaurants and they're just all in here. It's very cool. This is going to be the most expensive carrot cake we've ever had. You can get these, the carrot cake at the Hawker Centers. But this one's got premium exo sauce on it. I know. Okay, so all the mains have come at once. We have got the soup here, which had the fish bowls, which I already ate. It was blue sumo crab chicken tofu bowls in like a chicken stock. We got the sweet corn and mizuna salad. I'm excited for that one. We have the tiger prawn yes curry, which is a white curry. We have the steamed barramundi filet, <coughs> ginger flour, star fruit, coriander. We have chef's mum's chicken curry, boneless with potatoes, yum. And then we have squid with a sunny side up egg. Where's the egg? On the bottom. Oh, on the bottom, wow. Dessert is served. We got an ice kachan and we got a banana little jello here. How cute! Changi Airport, we're about six hours early for our flight, but for good reason because their airport is amazing. And most flights back to Melbourne or Sydney are always at night time anyway, and you have to check out so early of the hotel. So you might as well come spend the last day here. My plan is we're gonna go look at the waterfall at the jewel again, and then we're gonna go to Shake Shack for dinner. If there wasn't enough to do at Changi Airport already, there's also like a snow room. It's a peanut snow hangout. Look, you just like rent a jacket, you put it on. Look at little slides. Oh, Ended up just eating for like five more hours and these little hargals were so yummy. I bought some of those salted egg yolk chips to take home as well. We used the lounge facilities to take a quick shower before we board the plane because all the Australian flights are always at night time and you've got a whole day's worth of Singapore sweat on you. Justin thought he'd try a Bloody Mary, not a good choice. And I don't know why, but this section of the ad always makes me laugh. Whatever they are. Thanks for watching the vlog, see you in Melbourne.